Hello, my amazing artists. Because we can't be together this year to have our annual spring art show in person, we are gonna have a virtual one. Now, you might be wondering what an art show is and why as an elementary artist we would have one. An art show is an event in which an artist or a group of artists displays their best work. It's an opportunity to celebrate and recognize the hard work that has been put into creating over a period of time by presenting one's artwork to the public, as well as an opportunity to seek community feedback and response to one's artwork so that an artist can continue to grow in their ability to create, connect, and respond. As I am talking, video footage is playing from last year's art show at Grant and John Marshall. Each student here is represented by an artwork that they think is their best artwork. That leads to another great question. What is my best artwork? In the art community, when we consider what makes a good work of art, we look at a few key areas, namely the artist's use of the elements of art, those being line, shape, color, value, form, space, and texture, their use of the principles of art, including balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, pattern, rhythm, and unity or variety, and finally, the artist's craftsmanship, how well they made their art using their skills to control and manipulate their tools and materials. What I'm looking for in an artwork for an art show is it's complete, meaning that it was finished and it meets or exceeds expectations for the project, and that it shows that the artist was thoughtful in their creation, that they took their time and did their best to use their artistic knowledge and skills to create their art. So in Seesaw, we are now on step three. We're gonna go through our folder and find our best work of art. So right now we're in activities. We're gonna go over to the journal. You're gonna go find your name and your class folder. We're looking for art, which is pink. And then you're gonna start scrolling through your artwork to find something that you feel represents your best work of art. So this first one actually is a really good example. I've used some really nice line work. I've used color and value to really make each of these succulents in the pot seem realistic. This one is not quite as done. It's a nice line drawing, but it's not quite finished yet. The second page of this post shows what it would look like to be finished. It's added color and value. The whole thing has been filled in and it just looks really nice that way. Moving on to another one. Here again, we can see a nice line drawing but it's not quite finished. There's a lot of extra pencil lines that haven't been erased. Here's what it would look like to be more finished. Um, another issue with this one is this play button is blocking your image. What you would need to do is either play your recording or um, go in to the three little dots down here and edit your post and take your screenshot that way. Um, so those are some things you can do to work around that if that's the case for your best work of art. Let's keep scrolling. This one's okay, it's finished, it's certainly very colorful, but it's maybe not quite as nice as some of the other ones we've looked at already. And yeah, so it's, it's a nice work of art, but it's not quite as nice. Here again, it's a nice work of art, it's fun, it's whimsical, but it maybe doesn't represent the same level of thoughtfulness as that first piece that we looked at. So be thinking about how much time you spend on things. Here's a good picture. It's got a very finished work of art, very nicely drawn. There's color and value and lines, all helping to make this image come together. But it's kind of kitty wampus, so I would need to take care of that when I cropped it if I was going to be then posting it to Seesaw. So if I was going to take a screenshot, I would need to keep that in mind. Here's another good example. Um, very nicely drawn, lots of details, but not quite as finished as this one, where there's been a pop of color added to add emphasis to certain areas, and the background's been thought about. So thinking about all of our examples, we wanna pick something that represents our best work of art. There's a lot of good examples here, but I think I'm gonna go back to that post that I had at the very beginning. So what I need to do now is I need to do the screenshot, which is step four. You're gonna hold down the power and the home button to take your screenshot. I'm gonna use the magic button. 
Then I'm gonna tap on it before it goes away and I'm gonna crop it so that it's just my artwork. So I'm gonna bring down those corners by clicking and dragging so that it's really just the artwork and that I give it a nice crisp rectangular edge. Once I've got it, I'm gonna hit done in the upper left hand corner and then I'm going to hit save to photos. There are some additional editing things that you can do in actual photos, but first you need to hit the done and save to photos. Now I'm going to go back to the activity, which is that light bulb icon, and I'm gonna find the one that says Art with Miss A Virtual Art Show Entry. I'm gonna click the rectangle green add response button. That's a part of that activity. This is step six. And once I've done that, I'm going to be hitting the upload button, but first I have to address the frame. You'll notice on pages one and two, I have two different kinds of frames, this fancy one, and then page two has one that's a little bit more simple. You're gonna pick the frame that you want, and you need to think about the orientation of your artwork. So both of these are landscape style right now. The artwork that I've selected is portrait style. So before I can do anything, I need to use the move tool to change the orientation of this frame. So I'm gonna find the move tool down here with the hand and the box. And that's gonna allow me to rotate that little box with the arrow up at the top to get it to be the way that I want it to be. So this is portrait style, it's taller than it is wide, which is what the screenshot is that I have to upload here. I'm gonna hit the photo, then I'm gonna hit the upload. I'm going to go to my recents and find the one that I want. Hit the green check mark to upload it. And then I'm going to click and drag on the corners using the move tool until my uh, artwork fills that frame really, excuse me, really nicely. If I find that the proportions aren't quite right, I can change the proportions by tapping the circle in the middle of either the frame image or the um, artwork image. You can try hitting the three dots to lock it in place if you need to. You can move it around using the move tool to get it to line up nicely. Oops, I zoomed in there a little bit. So there's that three dot tool. You can lock it to help it. You can also change the order if you wanted to bring the frame to the front. That would be a cool thing to do. So I'm stretching my artwork so that it fills the uh, frame a little bit better and then I can zoom out a little bit here in just a second and just kind of move things around get them back into a better spot so that it fits nicely because you want to be able to see the whole frame and the whole artwork in your screen here and you want the two pieces to fit together once you've got it I recommend locking them in place so that they don't move around on you then you're gonna go to slide three so this is the other frame, and then on slide three, we have our question, which we'll get to in just a second here. Here it is, this is our sentence stem. So it says, this is my best work because. I would like you to finish this sentence and give me why you think this is your best work of art using the reasoning that was described during the first part of this video. You can use either the mic to record or the T to type to do that answering and completing of the sentence. I'm gonna hit the mic to record. It's gonna give me my countdown and when it's ready, I feel that this is my best work of art because I really took my time on it. I use the elements of art line, shape, color, and value to help make my succulents really look like they're sitting in a pot and taking up space and have form. I also added some shadows, which further add to that element of space, and just feel like it really demonstrates some great craftsmanship with colored pencils. Once you are done recording your answer, you're gonna hit the green check mark, and then you're gonna have to hit the second green check mark to upload your work. It'll load. Once it's loaded, you should see your answer up here and you'll have it all nice in the frame, ready to go. I will be putting these into iMovie. I can't wait to see what you come up with.